So Reviva is a food and agriculture company that uses the beans from the Pangamia tree to create a plant-based food source that's not only good for the consumer, but also good for the earth. Joining us today is Chief Technology Officer Jim Aswood. Great to be here. Thank you for having me. I like your background. That's, that's nice. What is that? Those are Pangamia trees uh, in a, or orchards in Florida. <laughs> okay. Now, yeah. Pangamia beans, it's an interesting ingredient. I really haven't heard much about it. Uh, it. It's unique, and we don't see a lot about that in the plant-based industry. So what is it about this particular crop that you made your company want to use it? Absolutely great question. Uh, Pangamia trees are endemic to Southeast Asia, and, and when our founders uh, created the company, they set out to identify agricultural systems that both connect with communities in a very positive way, as well as bring environmental benefits and mitigate really the global warming challenges that we face uh, and work with a crop that really brings regenerative agriculture to life. Um, it's been around for many thousands of years and appears in Ayurvedic texts because of its uh, presence in Indian subculture and culture. And uh, the, it's not been a food ingredient up until quite recently. It's been used for other things like cosmetic applications or cooking uh, to, to light fires and that type of thing, or for biofuels. And what we've done is we've created edible ingredients from the beans from this tree that you can see in the background. It's amazing what Terviva is doing for the communities around the world throughout the process. Tell me more about what you're doing to revitalize communities. Great question. So in uh, it, it, we're working in two areas principally right now. One is in the United States, where uh, in Florida, where this tree is very well adapted, and those are Florida trees behind me. Um, you may be aware that in the citrus industry, uh, they're suffering from uh, a disease called greening disease that's wiped out more or less about half of the acres of what we all come to understand to be the defining feature of Florida, which is Florida citrus. Um, and so Pangamia trees are very attractive to former citrus growers in Florida as a replacement. It's very robust. It provides great economic returns and um, it, it brings obvious carbon benefits from the fact that it's a tree crop. So Florida and our Florida grower community is extremely excited about and important to us. At the same time, uh, we're in India where um, these beans are traditionally collected in local communities as a type of forest agriculture where uh, other kinds of products are also collected from the harvest. It's called a wild harvest. And we're working with communities there to identify pangamia trees and beans. And we believe there's approximately 2 million tons of these beans available already uh, within India alone. Uh, and so we've working, we're working with hundreds of different communities throughout India to essentially bring these harvests to us uh, from which we'll make our protein, our oil and our flour ingredients. And then in turn, bring uh, significant economic benefits to those, uh, to those communities. Yeah, it's great that you're not only helping you know local farmers around the world. I looked at your website, beautifully done video, uh, oh, by you. the way, on there. And what other specific products are these beans going to go into? I know that you mentioned they were being used for a wide a range of um, products, but what type of food products are you guys going to create? Fantastic question. Well, the bean, it's, it's related uh, long distance, at least, to soybeans and peanuts and peas. So it's a, it's a high oil containing bean. It's about 40% oil. And this is a middleaic oil. Think sunflower oils, those types of oils. So it's a healthy oil. And we've been able to create a, through our technology, a very delicious oil that we know uh, the food industry in North America first is very excited about. So that's, a, that's an oil product. At the same time, uh, we have a flour and a protein ingredient. The protein ingredient um, is a pretty interesting ingredient. Uh, it compares favorably to soy and pea. It has characteristics that actually set it apart. Uh, it's very low in flavor. It's got great nutritionals. Um, and, and as a protein source, it creates a whole new set of opportunities for both the food industry and, of course, the communities that benefit from you know, harvesting and, and selling the beans themselves. What can you tell us about Terviva's plans moving forward? Well, we, we essentially have two main operations, as you might imagine. One is 
this work that we're doing with the communities in India to harvest beans. And at the same time, we're currently scaling our manufacturing processes here in the United States and in Mexico. We have a pilot plant in Mexico where we produce flour, protein, and the oil. And we're currently building our first facility in the United States to start achieving enough scale where it's interesting to both uh, the, the trade as well as, you know, really creating economic benefits for our partners, both the growers in Florida as well as our partners in India. You guys are really going worldwide here. Now, you're going to be at Future Food Tech Alternative Protein Summit in New York this coming June. Correct. What can attendees expect to see from you there? Well, our CEO and several others, others of us will be there meeting with colleagues and sharing our story. Uh, it's going to be a very exciting meeting for us uh, because we're making such significant progress that by uh, early this summer, we expect to be actually selling that first ingredient, that oil ingredient, at, you know, obviously modest scale, but it will be fully commercialized this summer. And so that next future food tech meeting is obviously, you know, part of our journey towards the product launch. Well, thank you for so much for joining us today, Jim, and make sure to connect with Terviva at Future Food Tech's Alternative Protein Summit in New York this summer, June 21st and 22nd. See you there.